Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. As you can tell, I'm not in England. We're out here in Brussels for a whirlwind visit and actually celebrating 50 years of having an office out here. Uh, my goodness, has this office seen some changing times. And of course now, as we look forward to a whole new relationship with the European Union, it's really important that we're still here. There's still some challenging areas that need resolving and there's a whole new future to look at and Europe remaining our largest and most important trading partner. Now, last weekend saw probably the busiest weekend I have had in the media. I spoke to every single newspaper. Uh, I did pretty much every media outlet. I had Sky that were filming live on farm at the leaked uh, announcement effectively of the government's white paper food strategy that came about last week and then of course the announcement on Monday and in between times I was actually on farm for a meeting that I told you about and you saw it effectively uh, with the Prime Minister Boris Johnson so that meeting so kindly hosted by the Tuckers was a chance for me face to face to tell the Prime Minister where I think things are going wrong so Labour of course was, was a massive topic as was this food strategy where we need to go forwards i said to the prime minister you know there's a lot of anger out there right across the country because farmers feel so uncertain about the road that they are on they don't know what the policy environment will look like trade has been really really challenging it's a whole new trading relationship we've got a lot to resolve with europe and we don't have the workers that we need and i made this point very very strongly about the crops that are being absolutely wasted on farm at the moment with a cost of living crisis any food waste that's unnecessary is of course inexcusable so i absolutely stand by meeting with the prime minister was a good thing to do i know some people feel it's over politicized no media there a chance for me to sit down face to face and have that conversation with him but i do speak with everybody and yesterday i spoke with sir starmer Again, he was very interested to know what we think of the food strategy. I said, this is about turning an ambition now into policy. We need to know where the investment is going to come from. I think it's essential that this has cross-party support and is not flip-flopping between parliamentary cycles, something that Sakia Starmer absolutely agreed with. So we will keep working with all parties as we do, but I'd like to think that there can be a statutory underpinning of food production, making sure that we are not downsizing our self-sufficiency at all and that in the areas that we're good at and that we should be, we are actually growing that ambition. And last weekend, just a massive thank you to all the farmers that opened their doors across uh, the country uh, on the back of Open Farm Sunday. It's never been more important. Uh, to keep on engaging with the British public, showing them what we're doing. And Open Farm Sunday just is a brilliant initiative that does exactly that. Uh, so that's it from me, uh, a very quick trip through uh, everything that we're doing. But please do look at all the other bulletins that come through. I never do the breadth and depth of the work of the NFU justice in these few minutes that I'm talking to you. But as ever, please do take care look after yourselves and I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.